Today I'm going to share with you how to use Benjamin Moore calling wood in your living room. And as your room decor color expert, I'm going to tell you what you need to know about this paint color. And I'm going to give you some valuable tips that you should follow before deciding to paint your living room in this color. So let's go. For those of you that are looking for a gray that's neutral and that doesn't have a green undertone, well, Collingwood could be just the right gray for your living room. But there's something I want all of you to know. A lot of people claim that Collingwood is a neutral and it doesn't have an undertone. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. There is an undertone and I'm going to prove it to you in about a minute. Now, the second thing I want you to know, there's a lot of people that claim that calling what is a warm gray. Well, it's not really a warm gray for the most part, and I'm going to talk about that in further detail towards the end of this video. So, let's take a closer look at Collingwood and talk about the color. Right here is Collingwood by Benjamin Moore, and I want you to take a quick look at this picture over here. I want you to get an up-close view of what this paint color looks like. Now, let's switch gears for a moment. For all the people out there that claim that Collingwood doesn't have an undertone, well, watch this. When I compare it with Fossil by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened. The violet undertones of Collingwood just revealed themselves. So, Collingwood, it does have an undertone. It has violent undertones. And this is important to know if you're thinking about painting your living room this color. A quick tip about this paint color, if your living room has a lot of shadows, then chances are Collingwood is going to look a little bit darker and you're going to see more of the violet undertones. So that's just something to think about. I've worked with almost every gray paint color from Sherwin Williams to Benjamin Moore, and there's only a select handful of grays that I would consider a warm gray. And Collingwood isn't considered a warm gray because it's not consistent enough. So the reason why I want you to know this is because there's a lot of pictures online that are either Photoshop or the pictures were taken in the perfect scenario, where it's in a south facing room, you're getting lots of natural sunlight. Now, I have recommended calling one to a lot of my clients in their living room, but I want to show you the other side of this color. So, I'm going to show you why calling one gray is it considered a warm gray. So, Watch this. Right here is Collingwood, and all by itself, it looks like a warm gray, right? Well, let's take this a step further. Watch this. When I compare this with Edgecombe Gray by Benjamin Moore, by the way, Edgecombe Gray is considered a warm gray. Now, look what just happened with Collingwood. It's cooler, it's lighter, and you see the violet undertones. So the bottom line is, is that Collingwood is really more of a cool gray than a warm gray. And most of the living rooms out there won't be able to pull it off to making it a warm gray because you need a lot of natural sunlight, such as a south facing room to make this happen. So this is something that I want all of you to think about before deciding to paint your living room this color. I want to show you real quick what Collingwood looks like in the north and the south facing room. So watch this. Let's take a look at this picture right here. This is what Collingwood looks like in a south facing room when you're getting lots of natural sunlight. It's going to make your living room feel warm. And this is what you see in a lot of pictures online and especially in magazines and so forth. But if it's in the north facing room like this right here, you're going to notice the violet undertones, especially if you have shadows. And by the way, this is true for any room that doesn't get a lot of natural lighting. So the bottom line is, is that lighting is going to play a major role on how Collingwood will react in your living room. So what do you think after watching this video on having Collingwood in your living room? Or if you have any questions about this paint color that you want to ask me, let me know in the comment section down below. Collingwood is a beautiful color. It excels in south facing living rooms that get lots of natural sunlight. However, if you were a fan of cool grays with a little bit of a violet undertones, well, Collingwood could be a potential for your living room. 
if you need help on finding the right paint color for your living room and you want it to be professionally done, then check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you without ever stepping foot in your home, regardless where you live in North America. Until then, thank you for watching this video and I will see you next week.